Egeanos y la mano en el giga gaya. Jesus, so so so. I give you a mouth and a wisdom that your enemies cannot resist nor gain. Glory to God. La tua me anula. You interpret scriptures with scriptures. Are you following? Let me give you an illustration. How many of you have read that scripture in Matthew? Where it says, as it was, it says, two people shall be in the house. One shall be taken, one shall be left. Eh? One shall be taken, one shall be left. As it was in the days of what? No, so shall be in the days of the Son of Man. Two shall be, one shall be taken, one shall be left. So people preach that as the end of times. But that's not what he was talking about. He was talking about the end of time. One taken, one left. What happened in the days of Noah? The people that were taken were the people that the flood destroyed. The people that were left were the people in the ark. You didn't see it. Let me repeat. <laughs> How was it in the days of Noah? The people in the ark were the ones that were left. The people outside the ark were the ones that were taken. Let me say it again. Some of you are trying to still see it. <laughs> Two shall be take, two shall be in the bed, one shall be taken, one shall be left. Two shall be grinding in the meal, one shall be taken, one shall be left. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall be in the days of Son of Man. So, question in the days of Noah, which is the analogy through which Jesus is bringing the spiritual truth, what happened? The people that entered the ark were the people that didn't die with the flood. So that means they were the ones that were left. The people that didn't enter the ark were the people that the flood destroyed. So that means they were the ones that were taken. So that scripture is not rapture. Because the people taken were the people that didn't enter the ark. The people left behind were the people that were in the ark. <laughs> Are you still following? Are you still following? Are you are you following? Are you following? Are you following? It's not a rapture scripture. Are you following? It was a scripture Jesus was using to explain that those who believe in him will be eternally saved. And those who don't believe in him will perish. That's what he was saying. So that parable was him revealing himself to them. It has nothing to do with the end of time. But you see, it takes Bible teaching and interpretation to open those kind of scriptures. Because then the question will be, husband and wife, who will be taken, who will be left? <laughs> see, but it's an analogy. Jesus was using to just show that when you believe in him, you will be left behind. But those who don't believe in him will be taken. So when they didn't understand that, they now did a movie in Hollywood, Left Behind. And you watched it and cried. <laughs> and when they do those movies, they're very wicked. It is the pastor that is always left behind. They don't like us. <laughs> the pastor is left behind with the choir. And the member's clothes. You see women's cats, women clothes dropping, men's clothes dropping, and the pastor is pastoring clothes. Left behind. So now preachers will tell you, you will be left behind. One will be taken, one will be left. For what? I want to be left. I want to be left. You pastor, be taken. Me. <laughs> glory that's what bible interpretation does bible interpretation brings life out of scriptures and when people see that life that is what brings transformation so in raising disciples what are disciples what are we doing bible interpretation
didache, mode of teaching, is critical. So Jesus said, beware of the mode of teaching of the Pharisees. So there's a wrong way to teach scriptures and there's a right way to teach scriptures. So that somebody is teaching scriptures is not enough. We must be able to know which is the right way and which is the wrong way. There's a proper way of interpreting scriptures and there is an improper way of interpreting scriptures. And that is what we've been going you know, all over the scriptures in the last few days.